apical left ventricular aneurysm. The basal portion of the interventricular septum contracts normally, the mid portion of the interventricular septum extending to the apical septum and to the left ventricular apex are all akinetic and fail to thicken. Proceeding to the right side of the image, the apical lateral wall is equally akinetic, as is the mid portion of the lateral wall on the right side of the screen. Only the proximal basal portion closest to the mitral annulus appears to thicken normally. With respect to the geometry of this cavity, the long axis of the ventricle is still greater than the short axis. Therefore, although the ventricle is not spherical, it is clear that the short diameter of the base of the left ventricle is smaller than that of the mid portion and of the apical region. By virtue of the fact that there is dilatation of the mid and apical region, this can be described as an apical or mid to apical left ventricular aneurysm.